The year was 1972. The National Hockey League awarded a franchise to Nassau County, Long Island. The team was expected to be called the Long Island Ducks. But when the decision was made, there was only really one choice, the Islanders. Their first player was a goaltender. Their first season was short on wins. But the disappointment of losing led to opportunity. With the first pick in 73, Bill Torrey selected a 19-year-old from Ottawa. A defenseman that some called the next Bobby Orr. With Dennis Potvin on board, Torrey's radar was set on a new coach. The man he chose, Al Arbor, had the Young Islanders in the playoffs in only his second season. In that first playoff season, the Islanders stunned their new rivals, the Rangers, knocking them out in the first round. Led by Potvin. And the goaltending of men named Chico and Billy. And the toughness of a man named Clark. And the raw grit of Bobby Nye. The Islanders were just getting warmed up. Down three games to none, they stormed back to oust the Penguins. Down three games to none, they stormed back to force game seven versus the Flyers. The Islanders' first trip to the Stanley Cup Finals fell short in 75, but the championship pieces were starting to fall together. Let's bear down. We've got maybe another half an hour, so bear down for half an hour. Do it right. A second round pick from Val Marie, Saskatchewan was the league's best rookie. They called him Trotz, and it wasn't long before he had a running mate. In 1978, 21 year old Mike Bossy became the team's third rookie of the year in five seasons. Two years later, the Islanders found themselves in game six of their first Stanley Cup final. Four ties, seven minutes gone in overtime. Lauren Henney passed the puck to John Finelli. And then John Tonelli passed the puck to me. Coming in with Nystrom. Tonelli to Nystrom. Bob Nystrom lifted the puck over Pete Peters. He scores! Bob Nystrom scores the goal. The Islanders win the Stanley Cup. On Saturday, May 24, 1980, at 7-11 of overtime, a building in Uniondale erupted like never before. The Islanders. The Islanders. The Islanders were champions. We're champions. The Islanders were champions. That's the best team. The best. The next year, it was two in a row. And the following year, it was a dynasty. A fourth straight Stanley Cup made this a team for the ages. Magical 80s were not over. In 87, the Islanders and Caps played a game seven so long, it ended the next day. It became known as the Easter Epic, and it ended like this. Oh, Deneen out front, shoots, hit a stick. Comes to the line, LaFontaine shot, he scores! LaFontaine at the blue line, here in the fourth overtime. The early 90s saw more magic. In 1993, the Islanders went on such a run, it made us all proud. Defeating the Capitals and the two-time champion Penguins, the Islanders finally fell to the Canadians. As the century turned, so did the page, to a new chapter in Islander history. Ricky Petrov was selected first overall in the entry draft. Alexi Yashin and other new talents were aboard, and soon the team was back in the playoffs. And now, 
A new generation a of new Islanders. A new generation of Islanders. With a new focus. And a new attitude. That trying just isn't good enough. The Islanders. The Islanders. Are ready. To bring Lord Stanley home. To where it belongs. Right here. My home. Long Island. I'm Miro Chetan, and I'm an Islander. I am Alexey Zhitnik, and I am an Islander. I'm Alexey Yashin, and I'm an Islander. I'm Trent Hunter, and I'm an Islander. I am Ricky Pietro, and I am an Islander. I'm Jason Blake, and I'm an Islander. I'm Tom Pody, and I'm an Islander. I'm Bruno Gervais, I'm an Islander. I'm Chris Campoli, and I'm an Islander. I'm Jeff Tambellini, and I'm an Islander. I'm Mike York, and I'm an Islander. I'm Brendan Witt, and I'm an Islander. I'm Ted Nolan. Finally, I'm proud to call myself an Islander.